What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another collection style video for you guys, but today it is a little bit differently. We are doing my full custom WWE action figure belt collection. Yes, these are all custom made. A lot of these you can actually make yourselves, guys, and I, I'm going to show this off real quick. What do we got? Uh, we'll just show this off. So, a lot of these I have combined. If you guys have never checked out the video series on the channel, it's WWE figure belts you can make yourself. We show a process on how you can switch the plates between different championships belts that Mattel gives us and make your own championships for your shows, your pick feds, your collection. You want to make different title belts. You can do that with some methods that we have shown here on the channel. There's a whole series on it. Definitely go check that out. But today I have taken every figure belt from all of those videos, put them together with my custom made, painted, sculpted, you know, differently made championship belts and put them all together into one video to make this collection video possible. We have a ton of figure belts here. I would love for somebody to count them all. Once we're all counted up, I may do it myself and then let you guys know how many there are at the end. But today, guys, we're just going to go one by one and break down every single championship in this pile. I'm going to tell you about it, let you know how to make it yourself, you know, what work had to be done and everything involved with it. And we're going to go all the way to the end until we are done with this big old pile. So buckle the hell up, strap yourself in, and enjoy the ride as we go through this entire MDT custom WWE figure championship belt collection. All right, guys, so I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm already eyeing a specific championship, and that is going to be the most coveted in the world. It is the the MDT Championship, everyone knows this is a pick fed championship of mine. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, if you don't know what goes on here, this is the most coveted championship in my MDT pick fed. It's the MDT Championship. You have a zebra strap on it. It's obviously the WWE Spinner title as the base. MDT Live logo on the side because that's the show that it's on. World logo here. Beautiful colors. Replicates the channel perfectly. Zebra stripes. Black backing. Absolutely gorgeous championship and I wouldn't have it any other way. Next up guys, we have another championship and it is the MDT tag titles and you can see that this one is zebra stripe this is not a part of MDT live this is a, actually a part of vindication but it's one half of the MDT tag titles love these so much next up guys another custom championship is the Iron Man championship stipulation only championship that is exclusive to vindication which is the blue brand the opposite of MDT live we have the revolutionary championship another pick fed title that is exclusive to vindication very nice got the fist on there and everything next up guys is the MDT battle royal championship and this is a championship that is defended every single month and you guys saw that the current champion Pennywise won this thing last week. We see this championship defended every single month in a 55 man battle royal and I like it a lot. It's got the light blue strap. Kind of has the MDT colors going on. Nothing too crazy but I do like the paint job to it. Next guys is one of my custom made metal belts and this was actually made by Last Smith who uh, I don't know man I, I, I feel terrible because he is I feel like he's scammed a lot of people and it's just sickening man. I mean I like he's never scammed me but he it seems that he has been scamming a lot of people and I feel so terrible there are a lot of belts made by him in this batch and this is a good looking belt but it's unfortunate that he has been you know not holding up orders and making orders to people and I've, it's just so terrible but this is the AEW championship made by Last Smith. Next up guys we have an oval intercontinental championship with a red strap. This was actually made by a fan and then sent to me but I like it a lot. I think it's very unique. Next up guys we have the MDT World Tag Team Championships. Here's the other one. These are obviously the tag titles that are exclusive to MDT Live so these are the opposite of those zebra stripe tag team titles that you guys saw but these are two of my favorite belts in all of the world. I love the pink strap and all the pink going on. Really beautiful tiles. Next up, guys, we have one of our plate switches, and this is the WWE Championship strap with the United States Championship plate in the middle, and then the Universal side plates on the side. Makes it really look like a modern U.S. title. Very different take if you guys don't want the regular U.S. title in your pick feds or shows. Next up, guys, we have an IWGP Intercontinental Championship made by WWE figure artist. Very talented. He makes custom championships, and I don't think he scams people, so if you want to make a custom order, I definitely recommend him on Instagram. Very, very talented. Love this title. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is the 24-7 on the line extreme championship this is exclusive to mdt live current champion kevin owens and i like this a lot it's got the metal plates and everything this was made by last smith again um you can see it has the heft to it and everything very nice title belt i like it a lot this is the newer version of it and it looks extreme man it just screams extreme very unique looking next up guys we have a custom new day slash kofi kingston wwe championship you can see the kofi side plates it's got unicorns and light colors all over wwe middle plate this was also made by last smith and it's got rainbows on it and new day back here you can see the text right there on the strap so very very nice 
Next, guys, we have another New Day Championship, if you will. It is the Up, Up, Down, Down Championship. If you guys don't know what this is, Up, Up, Down, Down is Xavier Woods' video gaming YouTube channel, and he has this title belt. And you can actually buy this off WWE Shop, I think. So it's very cool that I have it in figure form. Next up, guys, is another championship made by Last Smith, but it is Cruiserweight Championship. So it's basically, it's basically a metal version of the Purple Strap Cruiserweight title. Next up, guys, it looks like it's just a regular big goal, but if we flip it over, you guys will see that it is the Crocodile backing with the red stuff on there. Really like this you know Mattel doesn't ever put details on the back of the strap but it is cool that I have this one custom championship to go with uh, you know any champion from that era next ladies and gentlemen we have another switched plate title it is the oval intercontinental championship you guys saw this at the beginning of the video it's the white strap intercontinental title with the oval in the middle really like this a lot good god look at that glare you could blind someone I, I prefer actually the oval intercontinental title over the one that we currently have and here is another current championship that was made by last smith that is the white strap intercontinental championship again heft to it detailed pretty cool next up guys we have another switch to play title it is the undisputed championship on the big blue strap wwf title here looking pretty good it kind of looks like a boxing championship but i really like it a lot I, i've always enjoyed this title i like the regular undisputed title but giving it the blue strap gives it a unique look we have an iwgp world championship right here and this was also made by wwe figure artist he also made that intercontinental title you guys saw the iwgp intercontinental championship and i like this one a lot as well very talented. I think he 3D prints these. I'm not exactly sure, but nonetheless, they look fantastic. What the hell is that? It's like a residue on there. Oh my, is that glue? Jesus Christ. Next up, guys, we have another MDT Live Championship. It is the MDT United States Championship. Very unique. Current champion, Jack Swagger. Next up is a Hemp NXT Championship. So it's like the Hemp WWE title, but it is NXT made by Last Smith. We have my custom Hemp Daniel Bryan WWE Championship that I made using like paper and freaking stuff from Walmart. And then freaking, uh, we are getting this from Mattel, thank God, so I can get rid of this because it's like falling apart. Next up, guys, we have an Intercontinental Championship custom made by my boy Rodney, and this one is pretty much like a, like a, you know, a regular strap. It's not thick. It's like a paper strap. Makes it look all good. And then he has the Mattel plates on there to give it that shine and everything, but it is custom made. Shout out to my boy, Rodney. Next up, guys, is a White Strap World Heavyweight Championship, which isn't the best. It kind of comes off the plate there, but it kind of looks all right. If you strap it out like that, I think it could work really nice. I'm White's my favorite color, so I, I really do enjoy this. And the Big Gold's one of my favorite titles. We have the other half of the MDT Tag Team Championships that you guys saw at the beginning. Just another look at that and how beautiful it is. Next up, guys, we have my custom 24-7 championship that's upside down. There we go. Looking pretty good. Can't wait to get this from Mattel, even though it's probably going to be like 50 series from now. Next up is my half Raw, half SmackDown Live Women's Championship belt. Pretty cool. We have my United States Championship on European Championship strap. Pretty cool how the red ties into the red and the blue ties into the blue. Just a different look on the U.S. title if you wanted to make this on for your pick feds. Next up, guys, we have a custom Fiend Championship. This one's very, very unique. Very good work on the title belt there. You can see, like, the Bray Wyatt Fiend mask going on. On these side plates, it says Hurt on this side and Heel on this side, and they both have, like, chainsaws etched into them. Very, very creative. You got the buzzards on the side plates that say Bray and then Wyatt over here. Brown strap. Very, very cool. I think this is very unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, and it is really cool to have in the collection. I'm very fortunate to have this in the collection. Love this. Metal plates got the heft to it. Once Mattel gives us a Fiend figure, I'm definitely putting this on it. Next up, guys, is a custom championship, and it's basically the SmackDown Live Women's Championship middle plate on the Universal Strap. Very unique look if you just want a weird-looking title belt. Another title belt we have, guys, is the Purple Oval Intercontinental Championship with the Rectangular Intercontinental Championship middle plate. Pretty unique look to it, you know, if you want another weird look for your Intercontinental Championship or something different for your pick feds, this is a very cool look to go with. One belt we've never gotten from Mattel is the Brahma Bull Championship, so this is pretty cool to have. You got the Rock, you got the Brahma Bull in the middle. This has always been on display with my Rock Elite figures on the on the shelf over there. Really cool one right here, guys. If you switch out the middle plate for the Rated R Championship and the Universal Championship, you'll have this Rated R Spinner Championship that has the red strap. And on the back, again, it's kind of stretched out, but I think it could work. I think it's a very unique look. Maybe if Edge is your main champion or something on your brand, you could easily put this on him. Shout out to my boy Wally on here because I know that he uses this as one of his main championships on his Instagram pick fed, and this is the Alpha Championship is what he calls it, but I think it's a pretty cool belt. I don't know who originated this. I don't know if it was 
just him or what, but I do want to give a shout out to him because I like this belt a lot. Speaking of Wally, we also have these right here, and I know he uses these as his tag titles. It is basically the penny belt straps with the SmackDown or Raw Tag Team Championship plates on there. Very unique look. It's got silver and black. Kind of plain, but you know, it makes it different than what it is in real life, so I can appreciate it. Next up, guys, we have a white strap cruiserweight championship, which is pretty cool. I, this is the women's championship flipped upside down to give it this unique look. So if you want a white and purple title, this will totally work. You just flip it upside down, and it will, you know, put together. You don't have to worry about it, like, leaving any gaps or anything. So that's pretty nice. Next up, guys, we have another modern take on the United States championship. And you guys can see here, it is pretty much the universal championship strap with a United States plate in the middle. Modern-looking strap, modern-looking side plate. So I guess, again, it's a different take on the US title. A lot of people use this as their, you know, IWGP United States Championship, which I guess could totally work, I guess, if you know, for a pick fed or something. Just a different look. A really cool way to do a WWE Championship if it's exclusive to SmackDown would be this. It's just a WWE Championship strap with the SmackDown Live Women's Championship center plate. Pretty cool. I wish the line down here was black, but it still works for me. Next, guys, we have a white European Championship. Again, white Intercontinental Championship strap with the European in the middle. Very unique looking, and it doesn't have any gaps, so this is one that would be fun to use in a pick fed. Another white title, and it is the white Intercontinental Championship strap again, so yes, it is, but this time it's the undisputed middle plate, so it's like an, a white strap undisputed championship. Very beautiful. I know Jesus uses this in his pick fed. Very beautiful looking, just, just classic looking, just... just freaking fire, man. Next, guys, we have probably one of my favorite belts in the collection, and it is this custom Finn Balor Demon Championship. You can see it says Finn Balor on the side plates. You have this really unique design etched into the strap. It has the demon teeth in the middle with the tongue coming down. Very, very cool. I like this one a lot. Don't really know what championships this could be. I guess it's just a Finn Balor championship, but if I had a real-life replica of this and then get Finn Balor to sign it, now that's we're talking money right there, but I'm really glad to have this in figure form. Next, guys, we have some white strap World Tag Team titles and these look really, really good. I'm really excited with the ways these came out. The only thing I'll say is that they actually have a little bit of gappage, so you have to be careful when bending it like that. Like, that's so annoying to me, but they look good. If you're just holding them up like this, uh, you probably could get away with it, but these are very, very clean. Coming down to the final few, guys, we are down to the last few. We have a rated R metal championship. It doesn't spin or anything, but it's a cool take. I think I like Mattel's much better, though. We have a sort of, like, older-looking universal title, I guess, before it switched to the, you know, the main logo. Even though it's on the side plates, you have that the WWE 2013 Championship on the Universal Strap. Gives it a unique look. You have the WWE Championship center plate on the Universal Strap with the side plates as well to give it that black line. Gives it a few more details. Just a cool way to switch things up and not have the same identical titles if you were to use it in your shows or stop motion or whatever the hell you want to do. Pretty much the same thing, but on a white strap, which is very, very clean. Maybe if you have a women's division or whatever, maybe you could make this your main title on your show if you wanted to. Shoot, flip it upside down and have your own M Championship. I don't freaking no. Next up, guys, we have the older version of the MDT Extreme Championship, and a lot of people say they like this one better, but I must say that it's just too clean for me to be, like, extreme. I still think it's really clean and nice, and maybe one day it'll make a return, but for now, it is not the current one that is being used. We are using the metal and the black and red one that you guys saw earlier, but it's got the pink X on there, MDT logo, just uh, pretty good stuff. Always holds us a special place. Next up, guys, we have a couple tag team titles that look really terrible, but I did make them on one of those episodes, so I had to throw them in here. It is the Penny Belt on blue straps. So basically, it is the old bronze penny belts on the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship straps. Very, very weird looking title. You know, you have the orange bronze plates with the blue. I mean, if you wanted to use it, you can go ahead and use it, but it's not my favorite look. I hate the penny belts. They're actually my least favorite belts of all time. So, next to the Divas Championship. Next, guys, we have a white UK Championship and I think, uh, who came up with this idea? I don't remember who came up with the idea, but very, very nice looking title here. It's basically like the NXT UK Women Championship, so there's that. We have the most coveted prize on the blue brand of Vindication on the pick fed. It is the Elite Championship. Very, very nice. I like this a lot. You know, it's it's sort of a take on the WWE Championship, but get rid of that logo. You put the MDT side plates on here, put Elite in big letters here, and I like it a lot. Very, Definitely one of my favorite titles on the brand. Coming into the last few, guys, we have a metal plated US title that looks kind of crappy. We have a couple of North American Championships here, and I like these a lot. I think I got a ton of feedback on these that people appreciated these. You switch out the NXT North American Championship center plate with the WWF, uh, almost vomited, with the WWF Championship from the Attitude Era, and this is what you end up with. You have the blue strap and you have the black strap. You just kind of
kind of pick and choose whichever one you want. I personally love the blue one more, but they're both pretty freaking epic. And speaking of that, if you put that North American Championship plate in the middle of the WWF title, we'll take the WWF middle plate and put it on your North American title, and you get this epic boxing looking like championship, and I love the way this came out. Uh, very unique. It does look like a boxing championship, but if you wanted to have a cool title for your pick feds, here's a nice one I'd like to see. Finishing up, ladies and gentlemen, we have two different versions of the Hardcore Championship, and one of these is the Hardcore Championship that I custom painted to make it look more accurate. And then we have the Horror Championship that was defended a few days ago. If you guys wanted to go check out that video, I loved it a lot. I had a ton of fun making it. Definitely go check that out. It was the Horror Championship match between all the different horror icons. Go check that out right now. But that's the MDT Horror Championship. And then we have the last two, which is the Ghostbusters WWF Championship with the middle plate swapped out for the regular plate instead of just the all gold one. And then we have the Universal Championship plates on the WWE Championship strap to give it a different look. Maybe if the WWE title was exclusive to Raw, you could do this. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe the, a different looking Universal title. I'm not sure. But that is it for all of our championships, guys. You can see here, look at the massive pile. My God, it's all... I don't, I don't, I don't know. Who, did anybody count them? I hope somebody counted them because I'd like to know down in the comment section below how many championships we have, how many are metal, how many are just switched out plates, how many are just custom made. I would really appreciate it that. If you stayed all the way to the end, guys, I really appreciate it, and I would love to hear you hit down below a hashtag my damn championships or my damn belts. You will get an automatic heart from me if you comment either of those things, but I appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end. If you guys missed the Hell's Gate stage, definitely go check that out, as well as many, many videos we posted this week. It's kind of ridiculous that we piled up all these titles, man. It's, it's absolutely nuts that we have this many custom belts, and again, if, if you're interested in trying to make your own, we did have that whole series posted up on the channel if you guys want to go see all the different WWE figure belts you can make yourself. Go check out that playlist. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.